Hello, I'm Fatima Abu Dries from uh, Bahrain. Uh, Mama Saudi and Baba Bahraini. Uh, I'm here to be a Saudi and I'm 20 years Hello, I'm Karen. I'm 25 years old and I represent my country, the Netherlands. Hello, uh, I'm Noor. I'm from Sultan Oman. I'm 16 years old and I'm studying at the University Okay, right. We discussed uh, many things during this expedition. Uh, one of the questions which we discussed on our very first day was, how do we feel uh, our cultures are misunderstood? Um, we realized that we kind of split into two groups. So we formulated an Arab group. How do Arab cultures, how do we feel Arab cultures are misunderstood as Arabs? And how do Europeans feel their culture is misunderstood as Europeans? And then we discussed is is this misunderstanding true or is it not so um i'm going to start with karen okay so karen how do you feel your culture is misunderstood okay i feel that um people often think we are egoistic and that's because um it's quite individualistic culture okay okay uh, karen karen galat bianna تظن بأن مجتمع هاي ينظر إليه كأنه يعني شعب أناني يعني كل واحد لنفسه ما في أهمية يعني كمجتمع كامل فما أدري إيش تعلمتين توافقينها من خلال رحلة التواصل الثقافي أنا أشوف أن هذا يعني غير صحيح لأن هي أولا وأخيرا حرية فردية ممكن أن ينظر إليها على أساس أن هي شيء سلبي بس ممكن المشكلة أن الثقافات الثانية so basically, Noor has said that, okay, fair enough, it's individualistic, but it's not necessarily a negative thing. And it's a personal choice whether you are individualistic or whether you're more of a community, you know, you act as a community. It's just, it's just a way of life which is different. So it's not necessarily a negative thing. Um, do you think about the misunderstandings in the culture? أكبر مشكلة هي أن كثير من الثقافات تظن أن الإسلام هو الإرهاب فهذه هي المشكلة الأساسية. نور thinks that um, people look at her culture as uh, Islam is a religion of terrorism. So what, what do you think? Okay, and this week uh, I've, all of the girls actually uh, said. Uh, all right, Islam is absolutely not terrorism. It, they absolutely did not or do not associate with uh, with terrorism at all. And um, the Islam is just as other religions. It's uh, it has to do with peace. Okay. okay. So Karen, you learned that the Islam is not necessarily a religion of terrorism. In fact, you learned that the Islam is a religion of peace, a religion of salam. وهل هالرحلة يعني في خلال هالخمسة أيام إحنا كعرب إحنا كمسلمين مثلنا هالشيء بالنسبة لها. Karen, what else do you think? How do you, how else do you think your culture is misunderstood? Okay, uh, people often say that our culture is is so cold because we don't hug, we don't say. Uh, there's no like very strong emotions and romant romance or or um, love or. It's just a, a little more uh, reserved. Um, okay. So, uh, Karen, do you think that the society that we look at, the society that we look at, is a society that is ما يعني ما مو حنون يفقد الحنانية يعني توافقينها ولا في هذه النقطة نفس الشيء ما أوافقها أنا شفت العكس لأن هذه نفس الشيء حرية شخصية للإنسان هو يقرر اللي يريد يسوي ونفس الشيء ما بالضرورة أن كل شيء يسوي الإنسان يعكس على اللي في داخله. So Noor has just pointed out that um, through this connecting cultures expeditions we've all bonded together so closely so it's not necessarily um, that's not necessarily true and if if a person is person you know it's a personal choice whether uh, your your expression of a you know emotion it can differ from someone else it's just a personal difference so I mean this this expedition has changed that I mean nor how, how كيف بعد تتوقع أن مجتمع ينظر إليه يعني؟ عندنا المشكلة الثانية أن المجتمع العربي ينظر إليه على أنه مجتمع متخلف ثقافته متخلفة.
Okay. So Noor, Noor thinks that our culture is seen as a very uncivilized, you know, uh, uncivilized, you know, and just wealthy, plain wealthy cultures. I mean, how do you, how do you think? Okay. Um, I I did think there was a lot of wealth in in Arabic countries. Um, I never actually thought about that that people. Uh, I never just thought about the poor people, but they've told me that there's a lot of people that have um, also, that are not that rich really. Uh, and as far as the um, um, uncivilized, well, for sure, I, I, I knew that the Arab world has a, has a rich history and they've proudly uh, told a lot about that. And that also, um, I learned there is a good education, so certainly not that uncivilized is that. So yeah. So Karen, but you say that in the past few days, we, I mean, we have proven that this this view is not correct. I mean, in the opposite, we, okay. العرب اوكي في في يعني عندنا ثروه ثروه البترول الى اخره بس مو بالضروره ان احنا نكون معناها كل 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 عربي غني يعني ما ما يصير هالستيريو تايب اللي عندنا وشافت ان كنا يعني كان في الليل كنا نتبادل الشعر والى اخره يعني انه بالعكس حضاره يعني عندنا وعندنا الجام الجامعات اللي عندنا والى اخره يعني فاحنا يعني اثبتنا we've we've basically I mean we've just highlighted just four simple points okay two two misconceptions about the Arab world two misconceptions about the European world and they're just two points but I mean trust me we have a really 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 long list here but I think we just highlighted the, the points which we found important and yeah we we found lots of misconceptions and we also found that those weren't necessarily true so um, so yeah we, we're just we're just thankful that we've had this experience I think and um, and um, we seem very serious right now but um, trust me we, we we were laughing you know this is a serious matter but we've just bonded so much I mean we yeah so thank okay. you thank you yeah I think for thank you thank you <laughs>